Oh, hey guys, it's Ash with another uh, follow-up video to my follow-up video on allocating more RAM to your vanilla Minecraft server. Now, I made the uh, video before this one to try and address any issues that you guys were having with that tutorial. And it did do that. It kind of weeded out um, people, though. Some people had problems fixed. Some people did not. And that's what this video is for, to help those of you who did not have your problems fixed. Now, please keep in mind that there's only so much that I, I can do. Each computer is made different, so to speak. There are different settings, um, different versions of Windows, and different versions of that version of Windows, like 32-bit and 64-bit. And all these things come into play, and it's a very messy uh, little ball of messiness. And it's very rare that this type of tutorial will work on every single version of Windows or any computer for that matter. So um, please don't hate on me if this doesn't work. I'm very sorry. I'm trying to do the best that I can to try and help you out with these videos. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind. And why don't we begin? So here's another possible solution, courtesy of a commenter on my tutorial video itself. Um, these comments are pretty useful, guys. Please do keep sending them my way because um, if a tutorial doesn't work for you and you go ahead and try to find the solution yourself, um, please come back to the video, post it in the comments, to tell us what you did to make it work because that could help me out and help out your fellow um, humans too. Okay, so here's the entire conversation that these people had. Um, yeah, thank you very much to both of you because now I can pass on what you uh, found out to the rest of the world. Okay, guys, so this is the startup script that I want you to use. Um, as you can see, there are some changes here. Um, so what you can do is, you know, put in your uh, RAM values and then... Um, if you want, you could add no GUI at the end to prevent that Minecraft thing from popping up and leave just the command line running. But yeah, let me go ahead and open up this server folder and hit edit because I already did that. Now for me, um, with this part over here, this, um, for me, it needs to be Java or else the server won't launch. See, what I get is, if I do it. I get that because it's not recognized as a command for me. But since that commenter said it worked for them, I'm going to trust on that. Now, when I type in Java and hit save, it'll open. But I have not put in my uh, network stuff, so it's not going to bind it. I hope that wasn't too confusing for you. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that this uh, code has been altered so that it'll work for you, I suppose. Um, because what this basically is doing is... Let me, let me um, change this back to Java. So the Java command is basically this. Java.exe. So what they did is they put, it in, they put in the um, path to Java.exe. Um, so that's basically what happened here, and I think it should work for you now, since you're actually specifying the path to java.exe. So yeah, basically, um, that's all you need to do, uh, change your RAM values, and I'll put this whole code in the description for the benefit of you. Thank you very much for watching, um, I hope this helped, if it didn't, I'm very sorry, but... Uh, if I find any other solutions, I'll post a video on it, or maybe post a comment, fix the description, anything. If I do not, um, go ahead, check around the internet. It's a big place. You might find something. So again, thank you very much for watching, and um, if this helped, rate, um, leave a comment with any problems that you encounter. Maybe we could fix it in the comments. Y who knows? 
um, if you found a solution put it in the comments because solutions like this come from those uh, so again thank you for watching and goodbye